Hello everyone. So we're going to be carrying on thinking about our sweet potato character description from yesterday. And we've got the same, we're going to be thinking about the same things, but today we're going to be putting our ideas into sentences. So if you haven't got it ready, find your work from yesterday. If you're joining us for the first time today, don't worry too much. You'll be able to think of some ideas during the lesson. So I've just put the link to the sweet potato story here again, if you want to watch it again. If you don't, then you can go just miss this bit out and we'll carry on. So hopefully you've got your character pyramid or your ideas from yesterday. I know you had some really great ideas from when we shared them. So what I would like you to do is I want you to think about how we described Sue Potato and think really carefully about how we talked more about his personality, his likes and dislikes, his fears and worries than we did about what he looks like. What he looks like is still important, but we want to talk about the other things more today. So yesterday's lesson was like a planning session, really, to come up with lots of ideas. And today we're going to focus on putting all of your brilliant ideas into proper sentences. And we want to imagine that we're writing this for someone who's never read the story of Sue Potato, who might just think he's a normal potato. So we want to make sure that people who don't know the story understand what Sue Potato is like. So like I've already said, we're going to talk about how he looks and his personality, that those things we just said, his fears and worries and his likes and dislikes. So when we're putting them into proper sentences, I don't want to see lots of short sentences today. I want us to be thinking about how we could use conjunctions. So just to remind you that conjunctions, they're on the video, words like when, so, because and and to try and join some of our ideas together. We don't want to use too many conjunctions in one sentence, but we want to use a few just to make sure we've got a mixture of some longer sentences and some shorter ones. So on the next two slides, you'll see that I've had a go at putting some of my ideas into proper sentences. Now, I don't want you to copy my ideas, but this is just to give you an idea of what I want it to look like once you've finished. So I started off talking. I introduced him in case there wasn't a picture. And then I've started talking about his appearance. So this is Sue Potato and he is the bravest of all potatoes. You will know he is a super, he is super potato because he wears a thin black mask over his large round eyes. He also has the brightest, shiniest teeth and wears a flowing red cape. He wears tiny leather gloves so his hands are safe. So you will notice I've got my capital letters. I've got a full stop. Remember, after a full stop, the next word will start with a capital letter. And you can see I've used some conjunctions. I've used and and I've used because in that section. Oh, and I've got a so as well to try and join some of the ideas together. You'll notice as well that because I'm talking about his appearance, I've also got some noun phrases, things like large round eyes, the brightest, shiniest teeth, tiny leather gloves. So make sure you've got some noun phrases in as well. So once I've finished talking about how he looks, I've then gone on to what he likes and doesn't like. So, Sue Potato loves helping other vegetables in distress. I stole that from the story. He likes flying around the supermarket and making sure there is no trouble. So you can see again, it's in proper sentences and I've got an and as well. So you can see I've carried on here talking about what he doesn't like. So he dislikes, doesn't like, the evil P because, another conjunction, he makes a mess everywhere. Sue Potato is afraid, fears and worries, of being attacked by a masher because, another conjunction, he doesn't want to be mashed Sue Potato. He worries that one day Evil P might want to take over the world. And then for the last part of my writing, I've talked about what the other vegetables would say. So the other fruit and vegetables love Sue Potato. They say he is the best potato in the world. Carrot loves his super strength. Evil P does not love Sue Potato. He thinks Sue Potato should have stayed in the freezer. So I know I've written quite a lot there, but I wanted to give you a really good idea of what Mrs Lee and I would like you to do. So let's have a look. So now it's time to do some writing. 
So make sure you've got your ideas from yesterday, but don't think, oh, I can only use the ideas I came up with yesterday. I can add some more. If you've got some more or you heard someone say something yesterday, you thought, oh, I like the sound of that. You can always add little extra bits in. So you can write your character description on a piece of paper. Don't forget capital letters, full stops and finger spaces. And if you get stuck, remember, you can always chat to us on Teams or Ask an Adult if you're at school. And remember, you can send photographs of your writing when it's finished. So remember, again, we're just writing about sweet potato. We're using our ideas from yesterday and we're going for proper sentences. I am excited about these proper sentences. I'm looking forward to hearing your ideas later.